What was that? I have no... Here is what happened. We got back to the shop. Um, we put the, we didn't want to fire the, the, the stent anymore after that. Um, we inspected some of the cases and we inspected the weapon itself and we found out we had a very dirty chamber. And it's only been a few hundred rounds since the last time we cleaned this. So this is a good example of you really do need to clean your firearms. Um, you can't just run them forever without any kind of maintenance. Um, let's take a look at some of these uh, brass and we'll uh, see what happened. Well, once we were done shooting, we went and picked up some of the brass. And what I noticed is they had different head stamps. Um, these were different. We had several different brands of ammo running through that same magazine. This is what a normal normal round would look like. Um, that normal ejected uh, brass. This came from that. Here's this one. And look at the bulge. All right. So this round did not fully seat. And when that bolt came forward, it has that attached firing pin, and it blew out the back. Well, there we go. Look at that. It blew the, blew the primer out, blew the primer pocket out, totally deformed that brass. Look at that bulge. Well, that wasn't the bad one. This is one much more bulged. And look where it exploded. This is where it popped out the side. So all that pressure went out the side, and that's what we saw with that we had that huge big puff of smoke come out of the side of that weapon and that's why so these rounds weren't fully seating because we had a dirty chamber so when that firing pin and butt which is attached to the bolt came forward and that case hadn't fully seat but it did stop well it hadn't fully seated in the chamber there was about a quarter inch or so sticking out and that's where the pressure came out when that bolt struck that firing uh, the firing pin struck that primer Pressure came out the side and you saw that in the uh, video. Here you can see those three cases. There's the normal one. Here's one that bulged and blew out the primer. And this is that catastrophic failure that we saw in the video. And this one was kind of scary. Good thing we were prepared and had our eyes and ears on. This is a great time to show the benefit, the importance, the necessity of having really good eye protection. The full wraparound eye protection that John Henry was wearing at the time and we had full coverage ear protection that John Henry was wearing at the, at the time of that uh, at the time of that video. So nobody got hurt because we were wearing protective equipment. Um, your your uh, PPE, whatever you want to call it. But eyes and ears a necessity when you go shooting. Hey, we didn't plan on that happening. We weren't thinking. Oh, you know, let's go see if this gun will blow up and shoot something in our face. You never plan for an accident. All right, but always be prepared for one. Well, after a field strip and a very thorough cleaning, I'm going to put this back together. I'm going to take it to the exact same range. Um, I've got a little bit better ammo, and we'll give this thing a try and see how she works.